Let's take a look at how we can calculate the profitability index using Microsoft Excel. So before I show you the calculation, let me just uh, compare the profitability index to net present value. They're very similar. Now, if you look at the equations I've listed here, NPV is equal to the present value of the cash flows minus the cost. So what this does is it tells you how much more you're taking in versus how much it's costing you to do the project. So it tells you how much you're increasing the value of the firm by. The, prof uh, the profitability index is the present value of the cash flows divided by the cost. So what this does is it tells us how much we're earning per dollar spent on the investment. So let's calculate both of these and we'll discuss these. Okay, so for NPV, we can use the uh, NPV function in Excel, but we do have to note that the NPV function doesn't actually calculate NPV. It calculates the present values of the cash flows. It starts discounting with the first cash flow you give, and we don't want to do that. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, whoever coded this coded this wrong, and because the um, versions of Excel that follow the first version have to be backwards, backwards compatible. They never fixed it. And because other spreadsheets, such as uh, Google Sheets and LibreOffice and OpenOffice and Apple Numbers, you know, want to be compatible with Excel because it's the standard, they also do it incorrectly. Net present value should subtract out the cost. So what we're going to do is we're only going to highlight the cash outflows from years one through five, and then we're going to subtract out the cost separately. And we get 43,125, and I've gotten rid of the decimal places. Now for the profitability index, Again, we can use the NPV function to get the present value of the cash flows. And then we're going to divide it by the absolute value of the cost. We want it to be a positive number, so we can use the ABS function, or we could just put a negative number in there. And what do we get? We get one point. One four. Let me just reduce the number of decimal places here. So basically, this is saying that when you do this project, you're adding $43,125 of value to the company, or the profitability index says that for every dollar you spend on the project, you're earning an additional 14 cents. So the profitability index tends to be um, popular when you're ranking projects. When you have a limited budget, you can look and see which ones generate the most dollar return per dollar spent on the project. So easy to calculate in Excel. Um, and note that the two are very similar, except one subtracts the cost and one divides by the cost.